The next game up is called Flower Town, and this is the first of the new 3DS Street Pass games that actually costs money. In this case, you can get this game for $5 by itself, or you can get all four Street Pass games for $15, so essentially you get the fourth one for free. In this game, you are trying to grow 20 different varieties of plants in order to become a master gardener. And you do this by planting seeds and then having the people you meet via Street Pass help water your plant, which you're about to see right here as soon as Mr. Mendel quits talking, because he talks a lot. This type of game would really appeal to those who like, for example, Chocobo Breeding in Final Fantasy VII, or those types of games. It's not action-packed at all. There is no action whatsoever. Also, if you like Animal Crossing, you would probably like this game. So here I am, coming out here with my little plant and my Metroid on my head, and all my little Street Pass buddies are coming to help me water my plant. And this was a brand new seed, so let's see what happens. So here we see that I just got a new breed of plant, and now that my plant has actually bloomed, this is a dainty Morgana, breed. but now that my plant has actually bloomed, I'll actually get seeds from it. And those seeds I can use to grow new plants. And that's how the basic cycle of the game works. You get a plant, keep watering it, get the seeds, make a new plant. You can trade these new plants in at the store. You can sell them for money. You can trade them in to complete certain jobs, which is to get you money. And then you use that money to buy accessories and different gardens and things like that. So I just got a seed. And Roshan's like, hey, I'm a zombie, I got two head. And then I take my little plant and my Metroid head, and I go back inside. There's a lot of intricacy in terms of if you want to grow a specific breed, or you want to grow a specific color of a specific breed. But right now, I'm just focused on getting the 20 plants to see what happens. As you make different milestones toward that goal, you get the little plaza tickets that let you get new hats, like my little Metroid hat. And now another little tip from Mr. Mandel, who never shuts up. And glowing seeds. They will always grow into breeds that you love. And there's my progress report, and I'm so happy. Hooray! I'm so happy! Woohoo! Now, I planted this dainty Morgana for a reason. It was actually to fulfill a job request. But before I go trade that in, I'm just going to show you my gardens. So I got the starting garden, and then the gazebo garden right here. Okay, right here. And that's just a place for you to put your plants if you haven't gotten all their seeds before you get rid of them. But now I'm going to go turn in my Dainty Morgana to Miss Blossom, and that will complete one of the game's jobs, which is kind of like a really cheesy quest. And I'll probably get either an item or some money for turning in this plant. But you can only do one job at a time. And sometimes they give you the seed necessary, and sometimes they don't. But I'm going to turn it in, and then probably tomorrow or a couple days later she will show up and say here's your reward now that I've gotten rid of my plant I actually have to plant a new one so I'll go into my seed box and figure out what I wanted to plant and it's probably going to be something with a high percentage of giving me a new breed like this one or maybe this one now I pick my pot and that takes care of that this was flower town for the 3ds you can get it for $5 by itself or as a bundle for $15.